Hey guys, what's up? It's Breezy and welcome back to Homebody. I am feeling so much better and I am ready to dive into this game and give it everything that I have. I know two things. One, we are going to die a lot in this game in order to figure out what's going on. Number two, there's a lot of puzzles and I need some caffeine to get me through this. So, like I said, we are cracking open an energy drink and yeah, we're gonna get this done. ASMR action. Let's do it. Oh, 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 I don't like the sound of that. I forgot to mention that last time I literally stopped as I was going up the stairs. Hey, Emily. Hey, Pete. Pete? I know that look on your face. You've been trying tying yourself in knots running this night through your head over and over again trying to think of a way out. You see the house with its door locked and power out, some kind of walking metaphor roaming its halls. You see me in the woods with my throat slit. Wait, what? When did this happen? Am I right about the last part? Yeah, I'm afraid that you're dead. Don't be too sad about me. That mind game on the computer in the bedroom reminds me of the computers in elementary school. We were supposed to use them for class projects, but we always, but all we ever did was go hunting in Oregon Trail. If you need help with the mind game, you could probably ask Megan about it. Okay, that's all I have for now. See you again soon. Okay, is this game giving me hints because it knew how bad last time I had no idea what was going on? Maybe it counted me leaving the game as dying? I'm not quite sure. Cause I was going up- Okay, okay. Let's talk to Megan. Ooh, Megan! Hey, Megan! Hey, are you doing alright, Emily? You seem pretty shaken. I'll be fine. Just tired. Uh, okay. Hang in there, buddy. Hmm... Cliff was kind of shitty when I said hi to him. Have you noticed anything? Other than his whole deal for the past 10 years? You mean... No, I haven't. You know, how could he be? I'm sure he's just being shitty for shittiness sake. Yeah! He's avoiding eye contact. He really is. Emily, I guess our one Cliff does make eye contact. But now that I think of it, he's been rude to me too. He hasn't been himself when he isn't talking to Gary. I guess I just chalked that up to him being a jerk. There's a lock on the front door, do you know why? What? Did you try unlocking it? The lock seems like it needs power to unlock. Oh, so we're trapped inside until we figure the lock out? Okay, no reason to panic. It's been so long, how have you been? We're just chatting it up. Time is paused, I feel safe. Jeez, Megan, it's been so long. Sure has. Though, I mean, this list of updates is short. Not a bad thing. What is the creaking upstairs? Nothing is supposed to happen. I'm still doing the same stuff, working, gaming. Having out-of-body experiences, you know how it goes. That is probably the most relatable thing so far in this game. Out-of-body experiences? I'm not sure I do know how that goes. Maybe they're not out-of-body experiences exactly. What's it called? Sleep paralysis? Isn't that the thing when you're held in an icy grip motionless as being beyond your understanding stares at you through your doorway? Nah, that ain't it. Anyways, I'm good, is what I'm saying. How's your dad? Fine, I guess. If we just stick to talking about food and movies like we like, then it's alright. Like, the only quality time I ever spend with him is watching TV in silence, and I think I'm fine with that. Have you ever tried playing video games with him? Nah, he thinks they're dumb and too much work. <laughs> this, this one is not dumb, but it is a lot of work. He's not wrong. How, how's the trip been treating you so far? 
I'm trying to get more information about possibly the computer upstairs. It's going okay. We've been having fun. It's good to see everybody. Have chilled out over the past couple of years. Even Cliff, though he's been a little testy as usual. Nature's cool and everything, but I'm sure we're getting tired. I would have been content sitting here in game the whole time. You're not getting the game time you were hoping for? That's not exactly what I mean. I've been sitting here gaming with Gary a lot today. I just get antsy when I'm supposed to be sitting enjoying something meditative. Isn't that what drugs are for? You're right. Thanks for reminding me. Emily, you should go do what you gotta do. Dang! Okay. Too much talking, I see. Play game. Oh, push star button, hit high score. Uh. Ooh. Oh, you know. Hmm. Okay, so here's the thing. Ooh. Ah! Okay. How bad could I be at this game? What if there's a hint in this game? I know I'm wasting time, but I must know. Ooh! Okay. You know what? Oh, gosh. Hey, buddy. Hey, Gary. Emily, congratulations on Pumberton. Oh, ha <laughs> ha. Thanks. It's pretty fun to do. You know, it's not much, but it's cool. How do you feel when you finally got to hold the things you made in your hands? Really bizarre, but cool. Definitely. It's kind of mortifying to see your crappy art on a thousand nice glossy pages like that. Oh crap, some poor schmuck is going to pay money for this? Hey, this poor schmuck is happy with his purchases. Your work looks really nice. The gouache stuff is incredible. Gouache? Ha! Um, thank you. Again. Emily, you're allowed to accept a compliment. That sounds fake and like a scam. Okay, Cliff. Okay. I say let's go upstairs. I've done enough talking and wasting enough time. And also maybe the bathroom I could play around with a little, um... Ah, these controls. I forgot how much I hate them. Can I, like, close doors? Okay, let's look at this first. So this said that the output pressure on this pump should be at 12 PSI all times. That's probably the closest I've gotten. No, go back. Uh, I'm gonna need like a compilation of every time a door creaks. Output pressure on this pump should be set to 12 PSI at all times. Do not touch. Do not touch. Okay, so there's always eight over here, and when we go and we use this, one, six, five, four. Oh, shit. And I think it's time that this doesn't work anymore. So. Okay, yeah. Home homeboy, uh scary homeboy's back. Uh there's nothing I can do about that. I tried. Guys, I tried. I tried solving a puzzle. Hey, talk to Gary. Gary. What's up? Uh better try and figure this out. Okay. That's great. But then what's this? 
Interact. I'm trying to interact. Reminder, the flu this tank is the source for all the pumps in the house. Uh, guys, it's death this time. I guess we'll just go into the basement again and just look at these puzzles a little bit more, you know? Doesn't hurt. Um... Hollow tubes and animal spirits. Clara Jones, hydraulic cylinders, on her blood. The body, machine, the body's a house. The same blood, the same thoughts, recycle, gushing, cellar to attic, atrium, ventricle. There's a beauty to the well oiled symphony of it. The furnace of the heart, the electric grid of nerve endings, lung stuff with, uh, okay, organs swelling, love, love. But a body gets sick, wood rots, machines rust, house melts into something worse. Nature abdoors a vacuum and will punish you for creating one. You will suffer the relentless the body made to live. Machine must die. Um... There's something down here with me. One, three, three, two? How do I go down? Can you not only move one? One, three, three, two. One, no. One, one. Oh, I don't like these noises in the background. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. One. What? What? How do I? Oh, monsters out, monsters out. Shoot, monsters out, monsters out. I want to get this door. Oh, he's killing them up there. One. I know I'm dying, guys. I'm just... This is so hard. No, my brain hurts. One. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Listen, we knew this was going to happen. It is okay. Okay. It is fine. Now, it would be nice if I could get access to, um, okay, because that's locked, but the keypad. Okay, so we'll just go back upstairs, try looking at the computer, 
And then we're gonna have to spend a whole night um, trying to open the um, that. Cause I think I can get it. It's inspect wire. A tail wire comes in the floor along the hallway. Is this wire that comes out of the power box in the living room? Yeah, because it goes here. Yeah, we've, we've talked about that. Um, so we had this computer. Read the note. How did I not see this? Someone will be coming from the electric company to do installation. Have them set the passcode as specified on the form and lock up the schematic combination. The cellular cage when done. Don't let them enter the attic. Thank you, Parker. Why are you suddenly so obsessed with security? I can tell if you're working to keep something out or keep something in. And why would they even want to go into the attic? I want to see if you leave the house and again someday. Okay. Um, good to know. Ooh. Interesting, is this just like a little game? Ah! No, my intuition. No, okay. No. Gosh, I should not get a lottery ticket today. No. It is a one in four shot. Did I Did I win anything? Is this a code? Oh, okay, this better be a code This better be a freaking code, my G Cause my god And it's getting late One one Blank Blank Bomb two blank blank bomb three one blank two bomb one. I think the only other thing that kind of looks like this, oh shoot, would be um, no, that's not enough. Yeah, that's not enough. That's a that's a code. We need a code for that. Okay, I at least feel good that I have accomplished something in this game. Let's drink to that. Please, toast to me. Um, let's see, any other clues? Front door lock. Hmm. 
This little puzzle thing, oh my god. Alright, we gotta go. We gotta head up. Oh! God, fuck. How many times does this happen? No, mine. Computer's in uninterrupted power bus. This means it's important. Yeah, is it important? Okay. Let's get out of here because normally he starts upstairs. Again, this door is not unlocked. You cannot get into the attic if you tried. <sighs> These are just windows, right? Am I correct? Yeah. Hey, friend. Hey, Francine. Francine. Hey. What's up? Um. So if the front door needs to power to open and the power's out. Who would design it that way? I didn't think that Ness was so careless, but I guess it tracks. I guess we just need to jerry-rig it. Yeah, good luck with that. I hate this place. We gotta get out of here. Oh, we need to get the power back on. If we can't, well, I suppose we can still enjoy the purse seats in the dark, right? Cliff was working on dinner in the kitchen, but now I suppose it won't be happening for a while. Talk to you later. Okay. And if we go in here... Whoa, did I just do it correct? Hold on. I just clicked a couple of buttons. I feel so proud of myself. I just, okay. I love myself. All right, bar pressure pump, cool. Every brand stack pressure pump comes with a configurable set of pressure cylinders that can be arranged in any order. Normal cylinders increase PSI output by one unit. Heavy duty cylinders reinforced with the bulkier housing by five per unit. Okay. Now it's not on. That's so strange. So this just tells us what we need to do. So this is by one, this is by five. Okay, good to know. All right, so we gotta get to the basement ASAP because you know who's about to be here. Our homeboy, uh, I don't know what I wanna name him. He, he's kind of a scary little thing he is. Seventeen PSI. I feel like I'm missing them. I'm not ready to solve this yet. I'm missing something. Okay, whatever you say, Captain. All right, come on. Okay, so every time we turn it this way, one, three, to the left, then how many times? One, two, down. A three. Oh, that needs to be a two. Oh, God. You know, we this needs to be a two. Then we start and we go all over. Three. <laughs> I was thinking way too deep into that. Way too freaking deep. 
Oh my god. On the wall, some kind of electronic exam. 278 with three-digit code. Okay. 278. Post-it note. Got that. Okay, so now I can get in here before the power gets out. Hi, buddy! It's, it's Francis! Francis! I don't know why he looks like a Francis. Oh my god, we did it! We did it! It's the caffeine. I think it's the caffeine. It's finally clicking and it's like, you know what? Hope getting out here wasn't too much of a hassle for you guys. Emily, for real, the driver was fine. It would be like nothing for miles except for trees and then once every hour we'd see cows or something. At one point we stopped at one of the roadside bowl of peanut stands and we saw the guy ladle some of the hot nut water into his mouth so we left without getting any. It sounds to me like you saw something that made you feel funny. I should tell a trusted adult right away. Did a joke just go over my head? I feel like this is one of those Emily Francisisms and none of us speak that language. Wait, you guys don't know this story? So like, do you guys remember when the local arts council held that mini con in the spring? I got a booth and was crunching like crazy to turn out little paintings and zines while also doing homework poorly. And because I'm a good friend, I offered to help set things up to make our life easier. That and I went to excuse the hangout and people watch. Emily sends me to Kinko's to pick up a box of freshly printed and very glossy nice auto booth zines. Get them, get them back to the con just in time for a show to get going. I was excited to see how the books came out before I was nervous about full bleeds and whatnot. And when I opened the box, it was not my zines. It was instead fully packed with a variety of public safety and surprisingly Christian pamphlets. Like the kind you get in Dare or the one assholes leave instead of tips. I'm panicking because the print job was expensive and I was hoping to make my money back. And now I have a box of shit people try to hand you at the grocery store. And the booth next to us saw the whole thing and wanted to read them. And I'm standing there feeling like the biggest idiot on planet Earth for ruining my friend's show. Then Emily fans them out on the table, scribbles a little sign that says $1, and those things start selling like hotcakes. Turns out, this affected stoners really love dare. Infamera. Did I say that right? <laughs> Ever since little snippets of those pamphlets will just randomly pop in my head. Don't get fried, stay inside. Radon might be right behind you. Drinking ain't cool, don't be a fool. Fool was an acronym, something about peer pressure, I don't know. I remember making Mad Libs out of the fill in the blank questions in the back of the pamphlet. Most teens really like alcohol. Francine, you might make the best mistake possible. You saved me from having other people see cartoons of me unsuccessfully trying to convince the Krispy Kreme employees to let me have some of their burned up donuts I got stuck in the production line and having inexplicable panic attack in the parking lot. No one needs to see that. So thank you again for fucking up so bad. Did they let you have the donuts? They did not. So you really took those old brochures literally, huh? What do you mean? Drinking ain't cool? That sounds like something you say. I'm always afraid to drink around you because you get all judgy. You know what? I just realized I need to go find my binoculars. I'll be right back. Hmm. Hmm. It's messed up that they don't just let you have the donuts. I mean, they're just gonna get in the trash anyway. What a weird cutscene. Um, you doing okay in here? Yeah, I just needed a second. You said that, yeah, like 14 minutes ago. Well, I told the gang I'd bring these binoculars along for the trip, so I've been looking for them, and I don't think they're here, so now I'm... Curled up in a ball trying to hyperventilate? Yeah. Yeah, I kind of figured. I thought you were doing great. I haven't seen you this... on in a while. I think 20 minutes of on is all I can do, and I think I can only do that because Francine's wing-manning me. 
It's embarrassing. When we met, I was all Captain Cool, help Francine keep her shit together. But I'm not like I was back then, in school. I don't even recognize that person. You don't have to perfect for them all. <sighs> Whoa. Ah. You don't have to be perfect for them to like you. You're their friend. They already like you. Do they like me or do they just like whoever that was? Unless you've been quietly struggling with demonic possession or something, whoever that was is still you. Look, I don't want to make you feel any more guilty about it, but I can only talk to your friends about data analysis for so long. You're fine. You're safe. They missed you. Even if they'll never forgive you for not being able to find the binoculars. Come on, I'm making tea. What did you need a pair of binoculars to find that pair of binoculars? Get your feet off my table. Jesus, what are you, my mom? I just don't want you ruining my table. I eat on that. Yeah, my mac and cheese, my taco dip. Cliff, we need to talk about the binocular joke. I'm disappointed in you. Okay, can we not figure out which one to touch? What's going on here? Um, it's okay. Laura turned it off. Oh, dude, this is me. Oh my god, I am constantly doing that. I should not be judging. You're really worried about this, huh? Like you're worried about me ruining your table? Cliff, cool it. I'm just messing around. Your guys' apartment's so cute. This seems like a really nice area. Will we even be able to see the shower out here with all the light pollution? Come on, it's not that bad if you go like a mile out of town. Anyway, the moon is just a tiny crescent tonight. Barely any competition to the Perseids? Perseids? Hell, maybe binoculars would be cool. Getting lost looking for a thesis major in Ghana's district and all the other stuff the magic school bus tried to teach me about. Ah, hell. I gotta text my neighbor and see if she'll feed my guppies. You didn't take care of that before you left? I'm taking care of it now. Hot nut water guy got me thinking. That the hot nut water would probably be pretty good. Super umami, yeah. What? S what? Obviously. But hot nut water guy also got me thinking. I feel like travel becomes way less stressful once you just accept that things in a new place are going to be uncertain. And we're instead of trying to control every last detail. Just go with the flow. Like the last time we were out here in the mountains and decided to follow signs for a family fun center. And ended up in a burned down old ghost town with no sign of escape. Totally. The creaking of a distant rocking chair, unreadable, and old billboards bleached white by the sun. I love the percolo per percolating percolating sense of unknowable danger. I love big words. Guys, guess what? I'm changing the subject. What are we gonna get for dinner? I could go for some za. I think we can do better than za. Emily, you live here. Where should we get food? Uh, right around the corner, there's a super authentic Italian deli. There's a dinky little diner with one of those rotating pie cases. Why was that a bad... Why was... Why was that a bad decision? Sure, yeah, let's just get pizza. What? Well, I didn't say that! I wanted Italian deli! Authentic! In that case, we better get going if we want to get to Domino's before they close. Domino's? Crud, okay, let me just go get the rounds of the apartment real quick before we go. Emily, seriously, are you so worried about your knobs? It's not that unreasonable. An apartment next door to mine was like, I guess, a crash pad for pilots who were coming into the airport down the road. The city shut off our gas and nobody was around to turn the pilot light back on. No pilots for the pilot, right? They had one job. I'm taking a heat for the binocular joke and you can get away with that one, right? Anyways, with the pilot light off, the room just slowly swelled with gas. By the time the landlord finally came back to shut off the valve, the apartment was so filled with gas that the windows had bowed out from the pressure. I worry about that too. The thing that bothers me is like, what happens if my lungs are full of gas and it ignites? My lungs getting like 
all burned up from the inside? Where is this going? Wouldn't the gas need oxygen to ignite? What's in my lungs if not oxygen? Guys, I think we should stop talking about this. Why should we? Listen, gas isn't some magical murder monster coming to kill you. You turn the knob and it's off. That's it. Pete, help me out here. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. Exactly. Thank you. Just what I'm talking about. Oh my god. Pete. Pete. Look, let me put this to rest for you, Emily. See? And did we all die in a blazing inferno? No. So you can relax now. Where is Pete? Wow, Cliff, you're right. I'm so relaxed. Now, if you'll excuse me for a moment. Oh! Ugh! Ugh, and that's the same noise you hear. Oh, God. Oh, God, I'm pausing because... Okay. There is more to this story, and I... I'm loving it. Um, I say let's go down to the basement and uh, make sure there's nothing else that we're missing in there and see what we can find. This is getting interesting. What happened to Pete? And that other girl. The other girl's not there. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so code, 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 278. Lovely, lovely. Lovely. No way. Was there anything else in here, though? Was there anything else in here? Okay, I'm just gonna open it real quick, just in case. This was a two. Shoot. This was a two. There's a bunch of stuff in here. An invoice for the delivery for two industrial great garland garland generators for the house attached as a handwritten note. Parker, I thought your accumulator was an acoustic device. Why are we suddenly looking to generate more power than we could in a year? Radon. The silent killer. Silent no longer. Odorless colorless deadly. Radon may even have infiltrated your home already. The most dangerous thing you can see, hear, taste, or smell. Did you know thousands die from radon exposure every year? Radon comes from a natural breakdown of uranium found in the soil your home was built on and the water. You drink. Radon is the number one cause of lung cancer in non-smokers. Radon attaches itself to dust particles, blah, 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 radon. Do quit smoking. Don't wait. Radon may already be inside your home. Do test your home for radon. Don't let annual home maintenance slip. Do repair foundation damages and filters your drinking water. Don't ignore deadly signs like wheezing, shortness of breath, or coughing up blood. Make sure your family is safe from the dangers of radon with Tustin brand radon test kits. Is there nothing else in here? That's it? Okay. Well, we got that. That's cool. What was this plaque again? Some weird thing. Check keypad. Hmm. Man, that thing is making a lot of noise. So I think this is like the thing we found everything to it. You know what I mean? One, one, two, three, one, two, one. Okay, let's see if we can find anything, I guess that that code can be used for. We gotta solve this pipe thing. Uh, 
let's see. Where did that go? Where did it go? Where did it go? Where did it go? One, two, three, four. Is this a four by four? One, two, three, four. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay, hold on. One, one, a two, a three, one, two. Okay, let's leave that and then we're gonna go upstairs. See if that did anything, because I'm not sure. Okay, open the door. Food stores. That doesn't do anything right now. Is there anything over here? Check device. This is a year. Hmm, okay. Don't know what that's gonna be yet. Let's go inspect these cables. No, inspect the cables. Go into the basement. Yeah, we have the guest book. Okay. Okay, let's go back up to the bathroom, see if there's um anything different because maybe we have to like flood the bathroom so that we can change the pressure you know you know oh that's interesting so this was by one this was by five So if it's already at 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, if we subtract 1 plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Ooh. God bless America. Okay, let's do some quick math here. If we got 8 over here, and then this one, so if we go, if we subtract two, and I think it's by five, so we need to know five, you need seven. So we need to get, it's only minus one, that would equal 12. Am I correct? Oh, but this one, What happened? What happened? What happened? What happened? What happened? Okay, did we do we have any clues? Any new clues? Right now we can get into the thing sooner. You know. This is one, this is by five. Okay. So does it have to be 40 or whatever it is in the um, garage? Yeah, I see, okay, now it's not on. That's cool, that's really great. So no more bathroom time because I was too slow and didn't know what I was doing. But for example, um, well, let me see. Whatever. 
Um, ah, 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 the controls. The controls. If we go down to the basement. This did nothing. So whatever. This is one, this is by five, is that correct? No, this is one, this is by five. And what do we need to get it to? Ah, uh, stop telling me I'm missing something. I am clearly capable Yeah, I don't know what this does, you know? I don't know what this means. I also hate the sound. Hmm, 420. Nope. That's wrong. It's definitely not the 278, we know that. But like, what the hell is this? You know, like, why can't I look at that? What is this? Piece of wood? Hold on. Okay, whatever. Um... <sighs> the brain is, you know, looking to tunnel. There's a creepy tunnel I can't get in. Yep, yep, sounds about right. What else do we have? Hey, Cliff. What's that sound? I don't know. I wish you can trust the place. We gotta get out of here. Yeah, no joke, man. No freaking joke. We're about to die, my friends. Look out window. Beautiful moon. Are you dying? Are you hearing the thing? Yeah, sure looks like it. Yeah. Yeah. There's nothing, nothing we can do, my guys. God, you are breathing so loud. So we figured these things out. G is dead. He's dead, Zos. Dead. You're dead. I've already looked at all of these things. Okay, we got one more dude before I, you know. Oh? Elevator. Dave Parker, 4 a.m. rise, 4 5 cold shower, 4 15, coffee, paper, ideation, ideation, 5 o'clock, end of the watch, 11, rise again. I wasn't done reading. 11 05, hot shower, 11 15, focus on the breath, 11 30, zazen. Mostly regarding being beaten with a stick. 
1145, focus on the intake and release of energy, accumulate cleaning center, the internal focus. Ugh. 1315, lunch. 1345, post lunch walk. 14, ideation. 1800, accumulator observation meditation. 1900, automatic drawing, exploration stream of the consciousness. 20, nightcap, old fashioned, some grass. Perhaps some grass. Are we a dog, a goat? 22. Preparation for lineal dreaming, placing a bedstand journal for later transcription during the watch. An adaptation of Dali's famous A Slumber with a key technique on which I've iter iterated, involving repeated periods of wakefulness and gentle flirtation with the beginning stages of REM. There was once a natural medieval habit of the second sleep, and a period of wakefulness referred to as the watch. Between the first sleep and the second, this was used as the most productive time of the day, in which of a family accomplished most of their tasks, I adopted this practice for myself and find similar generative results. Parker, I have tempered my dust spot accumulator up to this point, but a lightning rod? Really? This isn't some old movie serial, even if electricity did that way, what are you planning to use it for? Soon it'll be just as a modern Prometheus. P. Gosh, okay, so this is gonna give me time to think about what I just saw. So there's two things I know. We have two things, the locker in the basement that can be open somehow, and then whatever this is. But if you get it wrong, it immediately is going to sound that he can come get us. So let's see how this plays out. Um, I don't have any codes, I don't think. Yeah, so he immediately goes in there. Alright, Francis. We'll see ya. Wow, there's like a lot of things it seems that... Yeah, I don't think I have anything. So maybe this goes to the locker? It's red and black. It has the same kind of things. And possibly once we unlock that code, this unlocks as well, if I had a guess. Homeboy is still up here. And I think we're gonna play a lot of uh, making sound, going up, going back. There's a whole like elevator here. It's kind of crazy. Why is this one circled right now? Mother, you gotta be kidding. Oh, he's just guarding this. He knows I'm in here. He knows I'm in here. I'm gonna listen for him to go. I wanna look at this one more time to see if I can get a mental image because it didn't take like a picture or anything. So that's interesting, this. The computer's been smashed, let me deliberate. How could this have happened? We're dead. It's fine though.
So we'll read this again, see if there's any clues in here. But watch. Five o'clock was the most what? There was once a natural medieval habit of the second sleep and a period of wakefulness referred to as the watch. I'm gonna write this down because why not? Which was five o'clock. Between the first sleep and the second, this was used as the most protective time of the day. Five and eleven. We'll just put that down. We'll put five and eleven down. Most productive time. Who knows? All right, let's die. See if we get a short scene, and I think we'll probably end it there. Hey, Francis. Okay, that's cool. I don't. And this is a three by three with colors. Just because I'm not getting any mental images of this thing, it's really annoying. Three by three. You guys should see all the post-it notes I have for this game so far. It, it's quite a lot. It's purple, green, and orange. Let's die, mothers! Come for me! Come for me! Actually, you know what? We'll play a little. We'll play a little game of uh, running and hiding. How about that? How about that? Let's go downstairs into the basement and see if there's anything new. As soon as he goes in there, we'll go downstairs. We'll take a lap, okay? We'll take a lap because I didn't know that this was a thing until. Uh, Okay, where's homeboy at? There he is. Okay, why is this broken? Why is this broken? Did he break this? So if he comes in here, am I, am I just straight up not hiding right now? Is that what's going on? That's beautiful. You don't hear all this creaking. like that's still not working. Okay, let's just die. Um, Francis! Come and get your girl. It is I, Francis. Yeah, these. this looks like the exact same colors from upstairs, so. I mean, if he kills me on my way upstairs, he kills me. But, you know. God damn, can I get up these stairs? I hate the controls of this freaking game, my guy. 
Okay, let's go back upstairs. I don't know where he's at. He's chilling big time. I like kind of wish you could close doors in this game, but at the same time, I know it would be cleanse of hold. Okay, um. Oh. Okay, that sounds okay. You, 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 Francis. Okay, I didn't realize it was going off of sound. That sounded a lot like the locker though downstairs. So, okay. <laughs> okay, let's watch this cutscene. Oh, Pete! Pete! Been a while, huh? You holding up okay? Um, no, not really. The power box in the cellar is almost bizarrely simple. It's just a few buttons that determine whether or not some kind of auxiliary power gets directed to the power box in the living room. You're gonna want to set it to on. See you later. Oh, okay. Pete, are you coming here telling me I'm doing my job wrong? Are you telling me that all I have to do is hit on? Is that what you're trying to tell me right now? Because that's kind of ridiculous. Okay, what was this? What was this code? Two seven eight. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm mhm. Let's go downstairs. Okay. Oh gosh. Okay. It's. Whoa, whoa. All right. Power box. What is, what is this little note? A sticky note on the power box that's drawing a little sea urchin, or maybe one of those old. I told you, I know what this is. I. I have the code. I. So is it the bombs? Do I need the bombs? <gasps> I did the opposite. Oh my gosh. All right, power's on, baby. Power is on, baby. Baby. All right, what else did we need to do while we're here? I still don't know what we're doing with that. Whatever. Okay, let's go upstairs. I don't know um, if we can get access until the power is out, but we're gonna figure out now. And run upstairs, run upstairs. We Gosh, that's so funny. That guy really told me how it is. I didn't even realize there's a secret door over here. Oh yeah, I did. Remember because I looked at this. And that's already gone. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so we gotta wait until the power goes out to to get in there. Wait, the computer's on and enters the power supply. Okay, cool. Okay, I'm gonna pause because I'm trying to think of what we can do right now. So now the front door should be unlocked, right? Can we unlock the door? Let's go check. I could be wrong. I could be quite wrong. I feel like we've made so much progress this game. I feel like my brain is really braining. Blocking mechanism doesn't have power. What do you mean? Oh yeah, go to the living room. Okay, let's go to the living room. Ah. Okay, time does not pause. Let's look at this. Mm. Oh God. Help me, Jesus. 
I'm assuming all these just need to connect. Minus. Wait. Plus, plus, minus, minus. Plus. Plus. No. Plus, no. Oh, hmm. Plus goes, needs to go to plus. Okay, so this plus goes to plus, you know? And this minus goes to minus, and this minus does not go to minus. Okay, that, doesn't that work? But this, this now needs to go. <gasps> oh. God, I hate, I hate puzzles. Oh, this plus needs to go this plus. Right? This minus needs to go this minus. But this minus can't even go to that minus. Okay, that minus goes to that minus now. This plus needs to go to this. Plus. Oh, my brain, it's braining. It's not braining anymore. I think I'm out of juice. Okay. Well, hmm. Can't play any more video games? What a shame. I'm about to stay, you know, the, I think the best thing I can do right now is try to figure this out. Plus, minus, not good. Plus, plus is good. And minus, minus is good. This is a minus, not to a minus. Okay. Give me a second. This is a plus to a plus. I love that for me. That's good. I forgot that I actually had things I needed to do upstairs when the power went out. That's funny. All right, distract him, brother. <laughs> oh, shit.
Distract him, sister. Okay, if I recall, it was... Okay, he's still downstairs killing people. Dead. Hey, you got me. You got me. <sighs> okay, <laughs> that is my bad. I got so distracted with the living room puzzle. quite interesting as much as the progress I have made today I think we are going to stop it right there I know what I need to do next time as of we got to go upstairs we got to match up the tone so we can unlock that locker and then we got to figure out this other code but I have a feeling that there's a lot more puzzles to this game and that we are just scratching the surface but I hope you guys are enjoying this playthrough as much as I have it's definitely challenging and very rewarding as soon as you get it but until next time, I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye. All right, distract him, brother. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, we gotta head up. Oh! Ah! Whoa. Did I just do it correct? Ooh.